Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome to This Week in Smarter Every Day. Today, we're going to try to figure something out that I've always wondered. What happens when you shoot a pistol underwater? Yeah, I think revolvers are going to act a little different than, than semi-automatic pistols. Here we are in the field. This is the setup. So what we have here is a revolver in an aquarium that we've made out of plate glass and silicone. This should be pretty cool. But we're going to film this with this Phantom V10 camera made by Vision Research. We're going to film it at 2200 frames per second. We've got about a 40 microsecond exposure time. But in order to get enough light, we have to use this, which is a 15 million candle power spotlight. It should be pretty cool. But the intent here is we're going to fill this up with water over the pistol and we're going to see if we can capture that gas bubble as it comes between the revolver and the barrel. It should expand and uh, hopefully not blow up, but I'm expecting this to blow up. And immediately after we capture all that video, we're going to compress it into a pretty, pretty small format and then we're going to beam it via this satellite dish straight to the 80s so that my granddad can... I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> let's do the shot. sad as I feel <laughs> or maybe nervous <laughs> I really don't want this to blow up because I don't have money to buy it again if it does so I'm doing this so you can learn you don't have to blow your pistol up See if she lived. I really hope so. Three, two, one. Yay, Ruger. Yay, Ruger. All right, so now let's talk about the results. To my knowledge, this is the first time handguns have been studied like this. And there's obviously a lot of stuff to learn here, but I'll focus on three things that are pretty simple. The first thing is it was pretty clear that as soon as the hammer struck the firing pin, which hit the primer, there was an outgassing. You could actually see a bubble. It's pretty interesting. My assumption is that that's the seal around the primer breaking down and causing a little outgassing. Nothing really new there. The second thing that we learned is it appears that the semi-automatic pistol is more efficient at applying the gases generated by the cartridge to the back of the bullet creating more velocity than the revolver. You noticed when the revolver fired there was this large blast wave that came out from between the revolver cylinder and the barrel. Um, all that is wasted energy that could be applied to increasing the velocity of of the round, which wasn't, so that was also pretty interesting. Now the, the next thing that we learned is when the weapon is fired, you see this large blast wave come out the front of the weapon. Now the assumption is, or at least the assumption I made to begin with, is that it is a spherical blast wave. It's actually not. It's more like a, a bagel or a donut. It's what's called a toroidal vortex, root word being torus. So if you were to take this and 
Let's see. Let me draw this. All right, so this is kind of what's happening here. The gases are coming out from the barrel and they're going in a loop around the outside of the bullet. Toroidal vortex, that's what's going on there. Anyway, there's a whole lot to learn here. I hope you're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Smart.